Hello friends and welcome back to another VGC 2020 Battle Series episode. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and to everyone that's new to the channel, welcome. Everyone else that's already here, welcome. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe in this current situation that we're all in. Um, but earlier in the week, getting into this episode, we played and kicked off with GMAX Toxtricity. It's a lot of fun. Um, but I did say we'd make some changes coming into today's episode. So as you can see, the team is on your screen now. It's got a lot of hidden tricks up its sleeve, and we'll get into those as we go through the episode today. Um, but it consists of the Inteleon, the GMAX Toxtricity is still there. It's the centerpiece of the team, the Mimikyu, Kanto Ninetales, Dragapult, and Venusaur. So it's a mad bunch of Pokemon. I might be mad in what I'm doing here, but... It will work. We needed speed control. We've got it in abundance, um, even if it's not super apparent <laughs> on the face of it. But as always, there will be a rental team at the end of this episode. So do stick around for that. And as well, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please remember to drop a like on the video. Do hit the subscribe button as well for more content like this and more Pokemon content in general. So got a first Pokemon opponent uh they're ranked 37th in the world so um gonna be a good match uh they're playing a team of bravery excadrill lapras incineroar gothitelle and the grim snarl so we've got the trapping element from the gothitelle uh pivot options with incineroar g max is going to be probably lapras here um and then you've got fake tier support potentially from the grim snarl uh, the Excadrill is going to be a bit of a pain. Um, Bravery I don't really worry about too much, but it does offer speed control with that Tailwind and the Max Airstreams. Tell you what, let's go for it. Let's go Inteleon Toxtricity here to kick us off. With Tox, obviously got to be a bit careful around the Gothitelle and the Excadrill, but other than that, we do alright. We do alright, I think. Um, what do we want in the back here? Hmm, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm, probably Venus or Nine Tails, you know. Let's do that. Got a lot of psychic weakness here, but we've got a lot of firepower as well, so we can uh, we can do stuff to the Gothitelle. I'm not too worried about Goth. It's not ever going to be the most offensive Pokemon ever that you're going to see. So um, it's still something you can't ignore, but we don't even need to worry about competitive goth either because we've got no intimidate on our team we're fine we're fine grim snarl x drill coming out my opponent <sighs> what i have to worry about here is does the grim snarl have does the grim snarl have fake out if it does we're knackered but uh thing is are they gonna max I don't know if they will. I feel like you might go into Lapras here. Like you want to max the Lapras, but have you brought the Lapras to this match? Does that make sense? Probably not. Um, we could always max Inteleon, but it kind of defeats the purpose. I want to go for this. I want to go for it. Let's go for it. They're maxing. <laughs> okay. Well, the idea behind this was we can Icy Wind break the Sash and the Excadrill. And then if we max it and go uh, Max Flare, uh, we've got a Hasty Nature on G Max Toxicity. Uh, we'll outspeed it, and it also gives us a way to knock it out. But if it does max, I don't think we pick up the knockout. So um, I think we need the Sun. It's going to be interesting to see what the Grim Snarl does here. Maybe T wave, maybe screams. I don't know. Maybe goes for a fake out as well. Like I said, if it does, then we're pretty knackered. Um, there's a lot of ifs, buts, and maybes here. It's just a thunder wave, but that totally <laughs> breaks breaks everything that we're trying to do. Um, maybe they predict into the the Intellion rather than the Tox. Oh, they do. Huh. Okay, <laughs> we're back in the game, my friends. This is all right. You see, we're doing the silly thing, so my opponent, playing safe, doesn't realize what we're doing. But we might be able to uh, get the Excadrill here. Here's the Max Flare. Not expecting this. Okay, so if we can get the Icy Wind, <laughs> if we can get the Icy Wind, we can actually get the knockout the next turn. 
Come on, Inteleon. Yes. <laughs> this is so, so ridiculous. <laughs> okay, well, we got the max player the next turn. Uh, does the Excadrill max guard, though? Um, do we keep Inteleon around? <sighs> like, honestly, no, I don't think we do. Um... We could, we could so, uh, we'll just go for another Icy Wind, I think. It's probably the safest thing. We'll go for another Max Flare as well. Okay. There's the Max Guard coming out. That makes sense. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sucker Punch into Italian. I'm gonna get rid of that thing. That's all right though, because now we've got uh, good old Venusaur to come in, but we will get, we will get T-Waves. So, um, it's, what do we? What would we prefer to get T-Waves? Probably Nine Tails, because Venusaur relies on its speed. So um, let's get Nine Tails in, because then we can Heat Wave the Excadrill, and then we can Max Ooze uh, the Grim Snarl. But it's probably not a good idea to do that. We should just Heat Wave and then go Max Flare again, because the thing is, you can paralyze Nine Tails like we've just been talking about. So we're better off just going Max Flare. Get rid of the Excadrill. Uh, we... Okay. Okay. Saving it for later. It's fine. What's coming in in Cinero? Okay. Okay. Does he intimidate? Thunderwave. That's fine. I mean, ideally, we want to be getting rid of the Grim Snow. ASAP, really. All we've done is cl click Max Flare with Toxicity, it's ridiculous. We do get the Heat Wave off, Sun Boosted, doing some nice damage as well, you know. Um, and as long as Nine Tails is on the field, I mean, we need to keep an eye on. Um, hmm, they're gonna go fake out, I think. We need to keep an eye on our weather, how long we've got the, the sun up for. Two more turns. Mm. You know what? I'm going to switch into Venusaur here. And I'm just going to protect and burn the fake out, potential fake out coming out. I don't think if you're in Cinero you go for Flare Blitz into the Nine Tails. You might go for Parting Shot, but... Um, what I want to try and do this next turn is... It's a fake out, yeah, and like a punch. Okay, um, yeah, we want to protect Venusaur here. We could switch back into Nine Tails, but I don't know. It might be nice to get rid of Grim Snarl right now. We might go down to an Incineroar Flare Blitz because Tox isn't the most bulky Pokemon, and we are hasty as well, so. But I'm hoping you chase down the Venusaur here. That would be the best, best thing. Go for the Taunt. Please go for a Flare Blitz into Venusaur. We should get the Grim Snarl. But it does depend whether the Incineroar is targeting. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Sunlight does fade, but that's fine. Um... Excadrill, are you going to make a little appearance right now? Yeah, okay. Is it super obvious that we switch into Nine Tails? Um, because an Earth Power probably gets Incineroar. Hmm. Does the extra drill just protect? I'll go for. Ah, uh, we, we need to preserve. Uh, I'm gonna go for this play. I'm gonna go for the overdrive and the, the earth power into the. Yeah, okay, we get it. Because the thing is, if, if, we, if we lose Venusaur here. 
Um, then a nine tails is paralyzed, so Excadrill has a way easier time against it. Might proc a berry. Yeah. Ah, uh, oh, we're back to square one. Is the Earth Power? It is Expert Belt. It's enough. There we go. Okay. Now we might be able to clinch this one. Okay. Now we can switch into Ninetales pretty safely. Oh, or can we? Well, we can because uh, Tox will deal with bravery all day long. We just Earth Power into the Excadrill. Um, switch into Ninetales and then we we get rid of the Excadrill. Um, and then Tox can clean up the, the bird. So, all going well, we should we should have a little victory here to kick us off with today against a pretty high rated opponent. Um which is a nice a nice victory for for Tox. It's actually done some work in this match even though <laughs> G-Max is just fire punched every time Max fled. <laughs> but it's specifically for the Excadrill matchup. It's just when they max it can get a bit tricky. Now you could play something like um Air Balloon on there to kind of get around that, I guess. But uh, the plan is it's, it hopefully doesn't max, even though most of the time it probably will. Uh, there's the, the Brave Bird. It does take down Venusaur, but it's done its job. We've got good old Tox to come in now. And I think the combination Tox Risky and Nine Tails, we should be fine. Uh, with an overdrive, life all boosted, it should do the trick. And uh, uh, we'll go for a will risk just to make sure we neuter this thing if things go south. But we actually outspeed it, so that's good. Come on, Tox. There we go. That's what we want to see. <laughs> okay, well, we get a win with the team. Uh, really good game to my opponent. I think we got a bit, like we said, you know, turn one. They made a prediction and uh, we kind of... <laughs> capitalized on that uh, which is it's not always gonna go that straightforward but uh, really nice game there and uh, hope you guys enjoyed that one hit that like button if you enjoyed that game we're gonna have one more before um, we finish up today and for the week with toxicity and uh, like I said I'll um, I'll put the rental code up at the end of the the episode Um, hopefully we can get the pledge mode working in this next one because we've got um, Venusaur and Inteleon, they can both be pledge Pokemon, so we can maybe do some pledge stuff. Um, hmm. Okay, next opponent, Togedomaru, Tyranitar, Weezing, Rotom, Cut, uh, Arcanine, and Gyarados. Double Intimidate, um, very little speed control outside of Max Airstream on the Gyarados, and then Nuzzle on the Togedomaru. Um, Overdrive, really good here. Um, because it, it doesn't help the Gyarados escape um, the electric type attacks. So I'm quite happy bringing Toxicity to this one. I think it can do a lot of work as well, to be honest. Uh, Weezing, is it causing us any issues at all? Not really. Not really. Really, not really, not really. Um, hmm. We could just go the same again, you know. We could literally just go the same again. But we might be better off going for... Hmm. No, we'll go the same again. We'll go on Teleon. Toxicity. It's a little sad. We're not going to get to see the pledge stuff going. But we might do. We do have the combination there. We'll just leave the ghosts at home. If we can get Sork going as well, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be nice. If we can soak, because Inteleon, the, the main reason where I started from, the starting point was Inteleon got soak, it gets Icy Wind, so it's ideal, it's so fast as well, it's going to outspeed most things in the format, so we're always going to get Icy Wind off first, and then Toxicity gets the, the, the dynamic speed change to start throwing out some damage, which is really nice, um, but soak as well is such a powerful weapon in this format. Um, hmm, hmm, Tyranitar. I did not expect you to make an appearance. Okay. Um, you've got to be expecting. Tell you, Max, right? 
we can't use our G-Max move, which is a little bit unfortunate. Unless it's not Lightning Rod. But it blatantly is with Gyarados on the team. Has to be. We could we could max Flare <laughs> and get rid of the sand. That might be an idea. Let's do that. Let's do that. See how much this does to the little Togemaru. The Pipsqueak. And then that might force it out the next turn. I swear the one thing that like Toxicity is missing as well is a, a good fire type move. If we've got something like Heat Wave or Flamethrower, ugh, it would like completely change the dynamics of this Pokemon. Um, and we're scraping the barrel here with Fire Punch. And it's only because we're able to um, max that it's even something that I considered. You still need the Life Orb boost there. Um, it's just a shame because it, it, the coverage that the the, the fire type move gives it is just it's incredibly good it's incredibly good um it's just a shame that it doesn't actually get anything maybe when the tutors get introduced in the dlc later this year maybe we see that change uh we'll protect hopefully we see a fake out come into that slot nuzzle okay well that's that's super fine super fine uh because we'll get our max flare up probably see the tyranitar go for max rock pull. wow <laughs> it does so much damage! Wow, it takes it down to its sash. Now, if Inteleon gets through this turn, which I'm presuming it will, uh, we should be alright to get rid of it the next turn with an icy wind. Max Quake. <gasps> this is like the one thing we didn't want. <laughs> How many Titars run Max Quake? Really? Okay. 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 Right. Well, I wasn't expecting that. It is something to consider. This this match might not go as swimmingly as the last one. Hmm. Okay. Right. Well, we could soak. I need. I really want an icy wind so I can just get rid of the the threat of the nuzzle. I don't want to hit <laughs> the T-Tar with a super effective attack though, that's a problem. Um, because I do not want to activate a weakness policy. Okay, let's just protect Venusaur here. Let's just let's just protect. Let's try and stall out these these Dynamax turns. I think that'll probably suit us a little better. Okay, Max Guard, that's fine. That's super fine. Now we get rid of the Togedemaru. Okay. Tito, you got one turn left. We can, we can pledge. We could pledge, make a pledge. And pledges are pretty powerful as well. Hmm. Yeah, the Intimidate coming out. I think we pledge. We wanted to get the pledges off, didn't we? Let's do it. Let's get the marsh set up. Let's slow everything down. It's like a I think quarter speed of everything on the field. They're pretty powerful. Um, especially the marsh. I do like it a lot. Oh, look how pixelated that is. That's crazy. What's going on? That's like n not my equipment. That is the game. There we go. Grass pledge, water pledge. It's not bad damage. We're going to activate a weakness policy. You know, it's going to happen. Um, Where are you going to go into? Probably the Venusaur. And there's the bounce. Okay. Well, that was expected. Maybe you go on into Inteleon now then. Which, this will pick up the knockout if you are. Yeah. Okay. Because then, obviously, the Sandstorm. But this is fine because then we get Ninetales back onto the field. The issue is, well, I mean, we can protect the bounce, so that's not even an issue. I think we could still do this. It's just whether or not the T-Tar then switches out this next turn. Um, but maybe a Solar Beam 
is enough to get it. Let's see. Because I don't want Venusaur taking a bounce. That's the, the thing. We need to protect this turn. Or do we? Because... <laughs> No, a solar beam should get the T-Tar from here. It should do. I'm confident we'll get the T-Tar from here. The sand isn't up. It's not Dynamax yet. It's going to withdraw. That makes a lot of sense. Come on, be something weak to grass. Ugh, it's wheezing, of course. Still all right. We've still got Grass Pledge. Uh, we've got plenty. We just need to protect Venusaur. Do all the right things. We can still win this. Venusaur is uh, wheezing so fat. So fat. Right. Wheezing holding uh, the black sludge. Hmm. Do we Will O Wisp? The Gyarados? Yeah, let's do that. Um, and I guess an Earth Power into the Wheezing. Okay, well that's still fine, like super fine, and the Intimidate Procken doesn't really bother us at all. Um, I don't think the Earth Power is going to be enough to get the Tito. The worrying thing would be um, a Waterfall, but if we land our Will-O-Wisp, I think we'll be alright regardless, and Ninetales, being a good boy, lands it. There we go, so we should take the Waterfall if it is coming into that direction. <laughs> Lumberry, no! See how much this does to Tito. I think the fact that it's not got its... Uh, mm. Consign it. It's not got its weakness policy boost anymore. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, three on one. <sighs> hmm. Well, well, well. I mean, we just earth power again. It's probably going to protect, but I can't risk. It's a, it's like the only thing on the field right now that can like cause us a lot of damage. The Gyarados, I don't really worry about. If it wants to damage us like a lot, it has to bounce. Yeah, so we get rid of this. Um, we'll see. Probably the bounce come up from the Gyarados now. Ooh, Dragon Dance, ha. Huh. Makes things a little bit more awkward. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder how much Sludge Bomb will do. Ah, oh, this is going to be close, I think. Is it? Is it, though? If we can get rid of the Gyarados, we deal with the reason pretty well. 2 on 1's never good, though, is it? Hmm. Didn't expect the Lumberry. It's a nice item choice always on Gyarados. Especially it's always it's something you want to be burning. Okay, there's a the bounce. Okay. So. Yeah, we made the, the, the rock. Oh. <laughs> there it is. There it's done. It's done. Uh, we can't even protect now. So we are. We're, 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 we're done. Well played from my pawn. You can't can't deny them that. Um, I'd like to know what the Earth Power damage is. I don't think it would be enough, and it's likely the reason's probably holding uh, Shuka. If my opponent's got the, um, let's just have a look at it. We'll have a quick gander at the team before we make the rental card. Okay. Well, good game to my opponent. We end on one win, one loss. Two really good games, I think, today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed them. Um, let's see, can we see the team? Are we going to, come on, communicating? Are we going to be able to? We're not going to be able to, unfortunately. Okay, well, we need to create this rental team. It would have been nice to see. Uh, I imagine it was probably Shuka. Um, but they carved out a nice win condition there. So we cannot deny them that. But we had fun with the, the G-Max Toxicity team. I think the two teams that we've um, we've played this week have been really good. 
Now we don't want to get rid of the Colossal team because that's a that's a great team. Lapras team very good as well. Mm, um, let's get rid of it. Uh, I mean this one's pretty old, the SQ, but the SQ is cool. Let's get rid of the Gigalith one. Yeah, don't make public. Uh, let's get rid of this one. I can't imagine we'll be keeping the Toxicity team around for too long, but we'll keep it up for a while. So you guys, if you'd like to play some GMAX Toxicity with uh, pledges and double double ghost, then here is your team. And it'll just take a minute. And then we can check. And there we go. There we go, friends. And that wraps up the episode for us. Uh, you can see there, Protect Soak, Icy Wind, Mortal Pledge, and then the rest all makes sense. Uh, the Fire Punch was actually all right. It was the first time I've tested that, and uh, it's 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 not bad. It kind of covers a, a big hole in the team that you've kind of got otherwise. So, um, But... Yeah, weakness policy, Dragapult, the Mimikyu, we didn't really get going there. Uh, the Mimikyu gives you a way to really shut down Trick Room um, mods with the Taunt, the Fast Taunt as well. It's really nice. Sword Stance to get super threatening if you want. Uh, the Bibbery Berry uh, just gives you that little bit of a cushion against those Steel types, especially something like Mole Breaker, Excadrill. It could be a little bit problematic otherwise. Uh, but you do have things like Nine Tails and Inteleon and Dragapult will add speed it and do some decent damage. Um, I'm going to change the beat up. Uh, because that was from a, another team that should be uh, that should be flamethrower so we'll change that and uh, I'll make the update and um, post that so you guys can play this team but that is that my friends I hope you all have a great evening afternoon morning whatever time it is when you're watching this and uh, I'll check you out next week with a another brand new team we'll play something a bit more solid than we played this week but we can't say anything but given GMAX Toxic to the ago. Uh, I do like it as a Pokemon. I just think it, it's really hard to get to work in this format. Um, but I'll keep working on it in uh, behind the scenes. And if I do get something I really like, we'll bring it back and we'll have another go with it. But until then, take care of yourselves, friends. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you all for the next one. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.